Our today's topic is Anglo-Saxon literature. Anglo-Saxon literature as um, it was produced in the period of Anglo-Saxons that was um, started from 450, uh, that, that was actually around 450 when Angles, Saxons and Jews started to arrive in present England and uh, this period uh, contained or uh, produced both kind of literature that was poetry and prose. Our today's uh, topic will be Anglo-Saxon poetry and we will discuss prose in another lecture, in another video. The two uh, most popular poet of the time of Anglo-Saxon period were Cadman and Kine Wolf. These are also known as Old English Religious Poets. Cadman who was born in 657, rather it, he was not born in 657 but he started to flourish in 657 and uh, he died in 684. That was the time um, when he flourished as a poet and he was recognized as a poet. He wrote um, a religious poetry uh, and um, what we uh, come to know about his life that he was an illiterate cow herder. He was not a um, uh, literate person, he was not uh, having a kind of good profession, uh, good in, in the sense of some uh, noble or high fi profession. He was just a kind of shepherd. He was uh, then employed by Ministry of Whitby. Uh, it means that he was taken as a priest and then uh, he established himself as a great religious poet that he is still known uh, in the present world as one of the first Christian religious poets of the history. He wrote in Old English and uh, his most famous work is his hymn that is known as Cadman's Hymn that is uh, a nine line poem and uh, you can see the original uh, structure of the poem and if you try to read it that will be difficult for you rather for everyone because it is very much far from the present or modern English and if you see the translation of this poem in the modern English we can read it uh, now let me praise the keeper of heaven's kingdom the might of the creator and his thought the work or the father of glory, how each wonders. The eternal Lord established in the beginning. He first created for the sons of men, heaven as a roof, the holy creator. Then middle earth, the keeper of mankind. The eternal Lord afterwards made the earth for men, the almighty Lord. So he talks about the creation of uh, of earth and men and uh, I invite you to uh, make a kind of explanation and try to understand what he, what idea he gave in that little poem and it, it this is the poem that is the most famous work of uh, Catman. Our next poet is Kyan Wolf. It is also written with K. And uh, it is not Cyan Wolf, it is Cyan Wolf. We do not know much about Cyan Wolf and his life. And uh, rather it was very, diff very difficult to understand who is the poet of these poems uh, th that are written here on the page. But he, uh, at the end of every poem, he used to write the letters uh, separately like C, Y, N, E, W, U, L, F in this way. So we, uh, from that we gather that then it, it would have been the name of the poet and it was declared that it, it was Kyan Wolf. These are his four famous books, The Fates of Epistles, Aline, The Ascension and Juliana. He wrote these poems in Northumbrian or Mercian dialect because he was from Northumbria. 
A next great writer is Bede. He was born in 672 or 73 and he was died in May 735. He was uh, a poet, rather he is uh, famous as an historian. And this is his famous work, Historia Ecclesiastica Gentis Anglorum. And if you translate it in English, that that is an that is a Latin name. Or rather, he started writing writing in Latin, and uh, he started writing before Cadman. But we do not consider him the first English writer because in the beginning he started he wrote. In Latin language so he was not an English though he lived there but he wrote in Latin and uh, the English translation of this title is Ecclesiastical History of the English and this is the most um, respectable work of history of England in the beginning and from this work and from his work we uh, come to know about the living style of English people how they started their uh, civilization, how they established themselves in present England. He recorded all these uh, things in, in this book. And also he told the conversion about uh, conversion of Anglo-Saxon people from paganhood to Christianity. That, uh, that conversion was started in 597. And we come to know all these details from his book of history. His book was uh, actually ended with the arrival of St. Augustine, uh, as we told that it was in 597, St. Augustine arrived uh, there and he is actually the hero of Christianity who converted the pagans of Anglo-Saxons uh, to Christianity. He was sent by great Pope of the time, St. Gregory, whose papacy's time was started from September 590 and he was died on March 12, 604. Uh, he was the man who sent 40 priests to uh, present England. Th that was the, uh, the name of the region was Kent, where he sent these 40 priests to preach Christianity. And um, then Anglo-Saxons were converted from paganhood to Christianity. Uh, this is all for today uh, we will come back with our next video and we'll continue the anglo section literature till then stay home stay safe god bless you thank you very much